Hi guys, I wanted to do a video about something that is a, I don't know if it's a controversial thing or kind of offensive, I don't know if it's going to be offensive, but it's just my two cents, I guess, and um, yeah, also, I wanted to say, if you, okay, today on Tumblr, I thought Tumblr was like a safe space for bitches, but apparently it's not, um, somebody called me the ugliest trans woman that they have ever seen, um, like, thank you, sir. That was so nice. That really, really boosted my confidence. That's all I wanted to hear today. Um, I blocked them and reported them anyways. But, like, I just want to say, if you see somebody post a picture on social media and you feel the need to attack their appearance or be rude, um, kindly go fuck yourself and move on. Because... There's no, there's no use in leaving mean comments. Like, there's no productive anything of leaving rude comments like that. Um, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say on that. It's just, it really pissed me off that somebody would reblog my, my picture and then say I'm like the ugliest trans girl that they have ever seen. It was a trans hating blog where they would reblog other people's pictures and call them ugly or it or blah blah blah. It's like shut the fuck up. Like no one asked you for your opinion. Um whatever. Sorry, I just needed to say that. Anyways. I wanted to say there's a thing on YouTube where these girls, these trans girls, are they are not they're saying that they they don't want to tell men that they're transgender, that they go out to date. And I just wanted to say that that is so dangerous and so, just, it's so dangerous. There are some really crazy guys out there. You need to be careful. Like, um, not just, not to say like you would, these girls would be like having intimate relationship on the first date, but like, see if it came to that, what are you going to say to this guy? Like, is he going to take that, um, like, lightly? Because you don't know how somebody will react. Because nowadays there are some really crazy people out there. And you can, you'll be putting yourself in danger of being beaten up severely or even worse, murdered. So, um... I don't understand, and all these, and these trans girls are really young that are saying these things. It's not like these older trans women who are saying these things. But I'm just saying, like, if you are going to date a guy, I'd recommend telling him right up front that you're transgender. Don't just wait on that, because then you'll lose that person. Um, who knows? Maybe the guy that you're seeing is a completely nice guy, and he'll be like, oh, that's, that's cool. Um, I, I don't know much about it, but I like to learn more. Um, but the guy, you don't know if that guy is going to be like, oh, you're a fucking bitch. Like, you lied to me, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't want to see you anymore. And um, I think it's good to come out and say it online first instead of in person because you really don't know how that person, is, you really don't know how that person is going to react. Um, I did watch a video recently about this girl who was seeing this guy and she didn't tell he was tell tell them that she was transgender sorry I just said he on accident um and she did some things with him and she found out that later that he was homophobic and transphobic like what if she had told him in person she could have died that night she could have gotten severely beaten up that night like it's just it's just so dangerous and so so just not smart to do if like if you're dating if you want to date somebody you need to be upfront because if you're not upfront it's just it's dangerous that's all I can say about it um and it's just so it's just ignorance I just I don't understand it um Blair White just made a video about this as well but I'm not gonna I don't condone the things that she's saying about like trannies I don't like when she uses the word tranny um, it's a thing we're called all the time, but, um, she did, she made some points that I agreed with, and I, sorry, I had to do this thing, um, 
she made some points on, on her video that I agreed with and um, basically saying that it's really dangerous and it, it is, it's extremely dangerous for to not tell somebody that you're transgender that you're going to be dating for also one one thing is some guys when they're dating they want to have children and I know this is really kind of a touchy subject it's a touchy subject for me as well because like I've had dysphoric about like not being able to get pregnant um, but some men want to have babies shocker um, and us trans women cannot conceive naturally so um, that could be a problem for them who knows the trans thing could not be a problem but you not being able or us not being able to conceive a baby naturally that could be an issue also um, there's a lot of trans girls who are saying that men who are not into trans women are being transphobic. That's not the case. It's There's a thing called somebody having a preference. Um, and this is kind of mean to say, but some men do not want to date women with dicks. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. Um... And, you know, you have to come to terms with that because we are women, okay, but we have penises. And some men don't want to date women with that part of us. Um, that's not being transphobic. That's just their preference. Um, and there's a lot of trans women who are really up in arms about that and really, really mad or re get really offended about that and I, I just don't understand. I mean, yes, you want to be seen as a cis woman. But, um, I know this is kind of hard to say, but like, some of us, we're not going to be seen as cis women. Um, I kind of just hurt my feelings saying that. Wow, okay, I kind of did hurt my feelings saying that. But it's kind of true. Like, some men don't want to date women with penises. That's just how it is. Um, and we just need to live with that. And it's not transphobic of a guy to not be interested in dating a trans girl. It's just their preference. Um, just like me. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not opposed to dating another trans person. Um, but like, it's not, I has, it hasn't came to that yet, but like I'm just saying, it's a preference thing, and you shouldn't get mad over somebody's preferences. Um, as long as they are respectful to you, like the people who are like saying, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not interested, or like, like blah, 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 if they're like respectful with like saying no thank you, um, that's okay. Like, But if they're like really mean to you about it, then that's them being transphobic. Um, but there are just some men that aren't interested. Um, so yeah, sorry, those are just some of my thoughts, and I, and I think I might have touched on some things that hit me personally, um, when it comes to, like, certain things. Um, but, yeah. I just want to say stay safe out there if you're planning on dating somebody online or in person or something please tell them that you're transgender up front you may be surprised they may be okay with it um, because it could save your life and like we don't need any more of us dying out there it's been a really 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 bad year for us trans women especially trans especially sorry especially trans women of color who are being murdered um, so just be safe out there, please, and, um, just be open, because you'd be surprised. There's a lot of nice guys out there. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Like this video, subscribe, you really don't have to, but I would really appreciate it. Okay, bye.